So maybe you've seen tutorial number one. This is now the second part of our Ninja Jump tutorial where we'll add some game logic. You can see that in the game, if we click on jump, nothing happens. And the worst thing is that as soon as the Ninja jumps and I clicked jump, while he's jumping, he will start the jump movement again from the floor, which is not good game design. So what we actually need is we need a global variable where which I can ask if Ninja is jumping and if Ninja is already jumping then the jump part shouldn't happen. That's why I go to my page and ready to present page add some custom code. I call it init and now I add some global vars. A good a good idea is always having one container where all the global vars are saved. I attach this to the global object GWD. So we add gwd.globalvars is gwd.globalvars for the case that um, GWD already exists or it will be created. So GWD global vars ninja is jumping is set to false because at the very beginning our ninja won't jump. Okay, now we have access in all those other functions to this variable. Instead of going to the jump section that we've had in tutorial one, we now add some custom code. I call this function gwd.ninjajumps. And now I ask if ninja jumping is already is true. Ninja is jumping is oh wait, let's say it's false. So if the ninja is on the floor and doesn't jump, then we should go to and play the jump section. gwd.actions.timeline dot go to and play. And then our ninja object and the label is jump. Okay. So this is actually what we've done what, what, what we've done before, but with code. And now as the ninja is jumping, we add uh, we, we change ninja is jumping to true. Okay. Good. So actually as uh, the variable, the global variable ninja is jumping should also change to false again as soon as the ninja is on the floor again. That's why instead of ninja jump ends, go to and play jump, we also add some custom code here. Custom code, add a new customized action. I name this ninja lands. And here I say gwd.globalvars.ninjas jumping is false. Okay, cool. Um, should also jump back. gwd.actions timeline go to and play ninja walk. Otherwise, the animation would stop in this case. Great. Okay, cool. Save. And now let's have a look at the preview in the browser. If I now jump and Ninja is already jumping, it won't jump. It will need to wait until the jump ends and then I'm able to click the jump button again. Cool. Okay. So a little bit better game design now. What we want to do now is change the position of the Ninja star. So we just had the bottom line. We now add the top line. Adding a new animation, adding new label. Label will be ninja star underscore top. And the animation will take also a second from the right to the left. Exactly the same duration like the bottom line one. So adding new keyframe. First of all, now as we are in ninja star underscore x, we move the ninja star in its y position to the top. Okay, adding new timeline, uh, sorry, adding new event now, adding new keyframe. Exactly same animation, but 50 pixels to the top because our ninja will also jump at its peak 50 pixels. Adding a jump event, uh, an, an event in timeline, ninja star top ends. Okay, and this is how it looks like. Great. Okay, cool. 
So, but instead of going always back to ninja star bottom, we now add some random. There will be a new event there, ninja star, ninja bottom end, and we replace the simple event to a custom event. Customized, customized action again. So, as there will be a new ninja star GWD, I call it new ninja star, the function, and add some random at the very beginning. The random will be a random number between 0 and 2. And if the number is smaller than 1, it should go to the top section. And if it's larger than 1, it should go to the bottom section. This is our random now. Rand math random multiplied with 2 by 2. So, and if rand is larger than 1, new function gwd dot action dot timeline go to and play ninja star underscore x and the label will be ninja star underscore bottom okay great and now the same with an else if random is smaller than one or equals one then we copy and paste this line to save some time gwd action timeline go to and play ninja star and the label will be replaced ninja star underscore top. Great. So this works for the bottom line. We also need to call this function at the end of the top animation. Ninja star underscore x timeline ninja star top end customize function. We can now call the same one new ninja star save. Great. Cool. If we preview that now, you will see that Ninja Star is not predictable anymore. Coming bottom line three times, top line, top line, top line, top again. So, okay. But uh, you can see the Ninja Star is really, really fast. We should slow that a little bit down. However, we can jump and nothing happens. There won't be a collision detection. We will add the collision now. So this is what we're doing now. If we move the scrubber bar on the animation and stop where the ninja star really hurts our little ninja. This is here exactly the position. This is where we add a new event. Give it a name. It's a collision at the bottom. And we're doing exactly the same on the top lane. This is where it really hurts. This is our collision here. Add a new event, like we did before on the bottom line. Now we add the same for the top lane. Collision underscore top. So a new event. So if ninja star underscore x happens to be on collision bottom, there will be a new customized action. We call it GWD dot collision bottom. So, and the only thing that we need to find out, if Ninja is still walking, is still on the floor and there is a collision, then of course we know that Ninja is jumping, the global variable Ninja is jumping is set to false. And this is what we are asking here now. GWD actions, GWD click, uh, GW double click, go to page, GWD add page one, if there's a collision will be fade, a small fade animation, taking half a second. Okay, however, this is just a collision. But now we need to ask if the collision even happens. Means we ask, as I said before, if the global var ninja's jumping is set to true, then immediately go back to our start screen. Oh, sorry, forget. Not ninjas jumping must be set to false. Sorry, yeah. Okay. So this is our collision. Save. And add a new event. The same for ninja top. A new customized event. GWD collision top. And it's exactly the same. 
I've copy and pay, uh, I've copy pasted the function before. If global vars ninjas jumping is set to true now, then go to the start screen. Now let's have a look. Click on it. Jump, jump. Oh, okay. There was a collision. This is really hard to play. I need to change the speed of the ninja star because latest after the second or third jump, you're dead. Okay. So going back to the timeline, moving the keyframes a little bit, make it a little bit longer. So instead of having one second, we make each animation about one and a half second. Moving all those keyframes and events. And also very important that we adapt now the collision events. So we start with the, uh, come on. So, okay. Ah, come on. Here we are. So we start with the bottom one. So there is no collision here. So we move it back. Okay, great. This fits perfectly. And the same is here now. If this is the, okay. Position should work fine now. If I click on it, jump, no collision, jump. And now we have a little game.